So hi guys, welcome to Tech School. I'm Vamsi from Tech School. Today we are going to do an animation in PowerPoint known as bubble popping animation. So I'll show the animation how it looks. And we need to click on slideshow. And the magic in this uh, animation is when when the bubble comes, the bubble is transparent and it pops like this. And I'll show the steps from the starting. Insert a blank slide. Do right click and go to format background in solid shapes. Solid color. In solid color, I'll insert a light color as this color. And uh, depends on your wish, you can take a uh, background as any color as uh, if you don't want background leave it and next we'll insert a text box go to insert and text box i'm going to insert a text known as text school okay, it depends on your wish any text you want to write and i'm increasing the font keeping into middle and again the font sh I mean changing the font again uh, I'm going to take this font and now we'll go to insert and we'll insert a bubble known as oval basic shapes category and now we'll click on shift button and drag the button and drag the mouse and you will get a clean circle now we'll do right click format shapes and format shapes uh, let's go to gradient fill I made all the gradient stops into white so in first stop the position is zero and and we need to go to color and the type should be radial type should be radial and in first stop click on more colors in more colors we'll take this turquoise color press on ok and in second stop the position is 19 and now go to more colors in more colors go to custom and the custom the red color is 186 change it into 186 and the uh, green is 117 blue is 255 and press on ok you'll get a gradient fill as you can see is a purple and in third stop the position is the position is 39 and we'll go to color and more colors go to custom in custom the red uh, position is 139 and the green position is 186 and the blue and the blue position is 255 as the same uh, 186 press on ok And next, the first stop, the position is 60. Change it into 60. And now we'll go to again the color, more colors, and go to custom. And first stop, uh, the red is 255, and the green and the green is 135 and the blue is 215 217 219 and you'll get a pink shade and press on ok and you'll get a pink shade here and next the position is 80 
and the max position is 80 and we are going to go to color more colors and custom in custom the f uh, the red color the red color is 204 and the uh, green and the green is 255 and the blue and the blue is 204 and press uh you'll get a green color shade and press on okay you'll get like this shade and the last stop the position is 100 and more colors and in custom uh blue blue is 104 sorry 194 and the green is 209 and the uh, blue is 236 and you'll get the shade here blue shade and we are done with our colors and now we go to and now we'll go to effects and effects 3d format 3d format top bevel will keep as round click on round and round and the width and height should be 50 50 and the uh, height should be 50 and now I'll go to contour and the contour is white and in material you need to click take as clear and and in lightning you need to take as glow you can see this glow and now and now we are done with all the shapes and effects as you can see the text you can see and it's transparent and now we'll place this bellu uh, bubble here at outside of the slide because the bubble will appear here and it goes like here so After that, we'll go to ins animation. Click on here, and we'll go to animation. We'll open the animation pane, and then and we'll open the animation pane, and we'll do the bubble uh, bubble animation. Go to custom path animation. In custom path animation, we need to take custom path. In motion path animation, you'll get custom path animation to click on bubble here oh sorry again we need to go to animation here motion path animation custom animation go to effect options and click on curve and here you need to click here it moves round up it like this and now we'll and now we'll exit the bubble do double click as you can see we got an animation here and we'll go to effect options effect options and smooth end we'll keep it to zero and the timing uh, is duration is eight seconds click on it and we'll do it okay as you can see the animation drags into 8 seconds and next we will go to add animation to the bubble again add animation in add animation we will take branch shrink animation and again we will uh, go to effect options in effect options let us do the timing into wet previous and the delay is six seconds six and the duration is 0 0.1 point one and press on ok and next we'll add an another animation and go to add animation and add animation will take an exit animation known as fade click on fade 
again we'll go to add uh, effect options and effects options timing and this will keep into with previous and the delay is six seconds and the duration and the duration is 0 0.1 and click on ok so I'll say uh, why this animation uh, how the animation is important to us when when you are presenting any animation to see the attenders position so let uh, we'll use this animation click on slideshow and you can t see our text here and on a click the bubble appears you can see the text and it pops if you like this video please smash on like button and if you want to see more videos click on subscribe and on the notification bells to get any upload of my videos until then thank you and bye